Hey everybody, I hope you've been having a fantastic day or night depending on when you're watching. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my February favorites and actually I have a lot so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to start off with um, the concealer but I've been using a lot lately. I've just kind of incorporated it back into my routine. Um, it's the CoverGirl Invisible Concealer. This is in the shade Tawny and it's got really basic like silver uh, packaging. What I like about this is, first of all, it's a dove applicator, which is always nice. I don't really like, like the brush on concealers. Um, but it really blends extremely well. Here's what the swatch looks like. Um, it's not too thick, but it's not too thin. It's a little bit of watery consistency, but not in a bad way. Um, it looks really natural. I'm wearing it today. It looks extremely natural on. It's really easy to blend, so I've been digging, digging it a lot. I've also really been using for the past couple of months, more than anything, my Milani Bates Blush and Berry Amore. <clears throat> it's really great. I love the Milani Bates Blushes. Um, this is one of my favorites. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. It's like a berry color with some gold shimmer, but it's really tasteful. It's not like chunky glitter. Um, it's formulated really nicely. This wash doesn't do it justice, but it's beautiful. It goes a little skin tone. It's perfect for fall and winter, so I've been loving that. Um, also, the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. I'm loving this this month. This is in the shade Shameless. It is a beautiful, vampy, dark purple. Fabulous. It lasts for such a long time. It's not super drying. Um, it's nicely pigmented. Absolutely love this. So wearing that a lot for like a really like a bold dramatic dark lip. Also for lips, what I've been wearing particularly like the first half of this month is my Tom Ford lipstick in the shade Leonardo. Packaging is gorgeous first of all. I mean so like stunning, classic, sophisticated. And then the actual color is a gorgeous like a dark marine red. It's a swatch right there. It's interesting because the formula of this is very cool. It lasts a long time because it goes on kind of like um, a stain and a gloss combined. It's really interesting. Like it's got that sort of what is, what is the word I'm looking for? Like a satin finish. Like it goes on like a satin a formula but like throughout the day it dries to kind of like a stain consistency but it still keeps a little bit of shine so it's really nice it lasts a long time like I said the color is great really nice pigmentation so I've been digging that for nail polish I've actually been loving this OPI polish in the shade my gondola or yours it's basically just a cream black color but I've just been really into black polish lately randomly so that's what I've been wearing um, it's really nice formula, nicely pigmented, it doesn't um, do anything weird, it doesn't like smudge, um, it's nice and opaque so I've been digging that as well. For eyeshadows, I have been obsessed with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, I've been using it a ton. I've actually hit pan on some colors this month which is really exciting. Um, I've hit pan on this beautiful gold color here which you probably can't really see but I did hit pan on that. and. I believe I hit pan on this purple here as well. Absolutely gorgeous. So I've hit pan on two polishes in one month. That tells you how much I've been loving it and how much I've been using it. Um, it's just great. It's got such a great variety of colors, especially if you like a darker smoky eyes. There's a lot of options for that. So there's that. Um, for fragrance, I have been loving Victoria's Secret Love Spell. Packaging is so nice. It smells amazing. The scents are cherry blossom and peach. Those are like the two main scent notes. Um, it, smells, it doesn't smell particularly fruity. Like it has kind of like a heavier, sweeter kind of um, scent that you would wear in the cooler months. So I've really been loving that and wearing it today. Fantastic. For skincare, I have really been enjoying the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This has supposed to be wake you up. Um, it has cucumber extract which I love any type of like cucumber or like any kind of like minty like scents or ingredients and in, like face products. I love that so it's really nice. It is definitely hydrating but it doesn't make your face super oily either so I've been enjoying that. And then finally 
I meant to mention this last month, but I forgot my all-time favorite body care product in the colder months is the Caress Evenly Gorgeous Body Wash. This is an exfoliating body wash. It's amazing. It smells incredible. It smells like you could eat it. Um, it really does a nice job of exfoliating. It doesn't dry out your skin. Um, so it still adds moisture while it exfoliates. Really amazing. And it's like 3 or $4, so definitely worth the money. If you guys haven't tried this, I definitely recommend it. Fantastic. So that is it. If you guys have tried any of this stuff, leave me a comment down below. If you guys have subscribed recently as well, thank you so much. Um, I love you guys, and I'll see you next week.